Don't worry, lady, we'll protect you from the real monster, the British Museum. The ancients' influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently, requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery-riddled two-week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple dating back to the 12th century. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancients' insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased that I will give you an early bonus. God! You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb. Just as it is Mantarox. Guardians of Ulyav, kill him! Oh my goodness, who would have guessed Paul Augustine was, was the bad guy? Who's Pius Augustus? Uh, now how do I fight you? <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then he hit me, so he's gonna summon, and... Guardians suck. Yeah, jumping right into the action on this one. Getting some Indiana Jones style. Day. No. Yeah, so it's like when he's got his... cloak up, he's just constantly draining sanity. There we go. Yeah, when he opens up, you can run around and shoot him in the tail, which is his weak point. Hey, let's see our finishing move. Similar to, uh... Um, Anthony's Scramasax do the little... Whip. Okay! Uh, alright, well that threw us right into the mix, so let's take our... Take a moment, pause, catch our breath, and see what we got for us. Archaeologist Brush. Large soft bristled brush designed for clearing dirt and dust from surfaces without damaging them. I mean, this is ammo. It's you use it, and you know. Clip of 45, but that's why I'm not reading it. Kukri. The unusual L shape of the Kukri gives the weapon a significant advantage in close quarters. The combination of a cutting edge on the inside curve of the blade and heavy weight of the blade tip gives the Kukri immense chopping power. And we have a Remington M870 shotgun, slightly modified with an extended tube magazine, choke barrel, rifle sights, and bayonet lug. This is the same shotgun used by the U.S. Marine Corps since 1970. Yeah, we, uh, really went up a bit in time. 1983, like, some of you people watching this, you might have been alive for this chapter. I wasn't quite. It's a little bit before my time, but not much. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, automatic pistol. We never read that. 
Uh, since 1907, this weapon has been a trusted sidearm to U.S. Armed Forces. Through two world wars, Korea and Vietnam, the Colt M1911 automatic pistol has proven itself to be a reliable firearm of good stopping power. Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll kukri for now. Okay. It's been a bit since we've been in Cambodia, and it's been almost... Well, it's been like a thousand years. A thousand and a half years since we were last here with uh, Elia, so we got our work cut out for us. Examine. Ah, thick layer of dust obscures the tiles of the floor. Wow, it's a good thing we have a brush. Granted, we already know what's here. But we didn't know about that. A bronze bracelet has been discovered under the dust covering the floor. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, so we know there's a door around hereabouts. There's our uh, statue that we saw as Elia. There should be a... No, that's not a... That's... Other doorways this away. Alright. Well, with nothing else to do. Oh. And because I'm panting and wheezing. We'll give it the bracelet. Also, might I say that this is a, a chapter. Like, yeah, we don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness yet, but we've got a pistol, a shotgun. A kukri and a torch? Like, even without magic, we're kinda set for the level. I mean, now I'm not gonna turn down magic either, but... You know, Dr. Edward Lindsay came for... He came prepared. Yep. Uh, hello, Kareem. Yeah, we never actually saw Kareem's statue because, uh... Maximilian found it... In the, the tome. He, you know, he didn't... He found it in the tome. He found the tome in his house. Hmm. Wow. That sucks. Oh, hello. You suck. Okay. You good? You're... You... Hey! What's our sanity? Ah, we could use lose a little more sanity than that. Carving represents the growth of the human race. Its rise to intelligence and the development of society. It foreshadows the decline of humanity. This is humanity's dusk. Hey, not if we have anything to say about it. Alcove carries an array of candles. They're arranged to reflect the time of the day. Curiously, they're still lit. How is it possible? I like that too about this game where you like you come in to the ancient temple that supposedly no one's seen in like hundreds and hundreds of years and like you come up to the candle that's lit and it's not just like that there's braziers burning because you know it's a video game. You look at it and you're like, uh, what? How is this working? Now I guess presumably you might know, oh, hi. Know what? I'm uh, good actually. Um, anyway, yeah, you touched the Tome of Eternal Darkness, so you might not be that. Like, you know, it's like, ah, yeah, there's magic going on and whatnot, but... So here's where Elia fell, grabbing that. So you know what? Before we do that... Let's, uh... Brush this off. Brush, brush, brush. Find ourselves A tablet! For tears. You have heard that a lot in the like tier poor god when he's when Pius is doing the summoning. Because when Pius talks to his uh his his patron, as it were, he's using a summon spell. And that's why you always hear it start with tier. Oh hi. Oh hi. Oh. Well You're just kinda stuck there, so. I'm gonna just take that. Okay. Good talk. Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose we're here now. We should... Let's get a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit of... What were my quick spells? Um, that. Yeah, who says you can't enchant a gun? Like, you think, like, sure, the magic energies course through a sword, but yeah, you can just as easily put magic inside a gun. Uh, spell list. Do we have a... Dispel area? 
No, not really. I don't remember. No, that's just the, the trap on the floor, right? All right, well, maybe we do have to go the other way first then to get another uh, room. Metal bracelet. Thankfully, we don't go sliding down this time, although I guess that'd make things easier. And we wouldn't have to do this puzzle. Um, I don't want to waste shotgun ammo. I'll take my pistol, why not? Um, can't use the metal bracelet. Can I take the bronze bracelet? No. So I just have to give it a bunch of bronze stuff. Oh, I bet we have to... Like, Indiana Jones it with the metal bracelet. Do like a, the old switcheroo type thing. Which, to be fair, we had to do here before the first time, so... You're like, of course, you've played this game before, you should know that. I told you, I don't remember the actual game. Like, I remember this, the overall story, but I don't remember the, like, what puzzle piece is where type of thing. Uh, Humanity's Dawn, great for us. There we go. A statue of a naga, snake-headed demon, stands in the corner of the room. There's a bracelet, should I pick it up? Yes. And it closes. And we just give it back its bracelet. I forget, it might start leaking poison out after a while, too. I don't remember. But frankly, I don't care. I'm gonna just take that and go. Okay, I don't need, need to use a 45 shot on you. You're a Manta Rock zombie. <laughs> and he just keeps getting shot by the blow darts. That's funny. Oh. Also, wow, all these dudes. I mean, yeah, like, I, I got the Guardian. I finished it off and the guy just to show the thing. But Dr. Edwin Lindsay has a lot of sanity. He's taken all this pretty good stride. There we go. Dispel. Now that's something we can use. Unfortunately, it's not something I have. Nethlek. All right, well... Hey, that's that thing I was looking for. No, no, too many zombies. Haha, <laughs> they killed each other. Oh no, that one's gonna explode. Oh no. Let's just finish that guy off and then run and hide. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Whatever. Screw you, man. Humanity's fall into decadence, corruption, and ultimately oblivion. This is humanity's night. Our time. Oh, don't be dramatic. Oh. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for your decadence. Oh, you're the one that was decadent. Oh, but I'm supposed to be killing you. No, I'm... I am loaded for bear. You don't get to kill me. There we go. Dispel magic. Dispel area. Who would have guessed? If it was you, good job. Hey, can we make anything else with these things we got? Like, we got... Dispel... Mmm. The spell self. No, you can't. Even the ancients don't want you to be harsh on yourself, man. We also got. Oh, and I was like, I did right. We got here. We can do. So right, we don't actually have that. We just have the codex for it. Hello. It's me again. Yep. We're just gonna prep ourselves for the inevitable fight to come. Because, you know, Edwin Lindsay isn't stupid. He knows what's about to happen. 
spell magic, yes. And bam. Okay. Wow, that is wow. I'm sorry that that was so loud. I guess because it's already a shotgun and it's enchanted with magic. Yeah. Thank you. Well, so what's it say about humanity? Domin domination over the world. Okay, cool. Let me just reload this. Yeah, all right. Well, um, that one's good for now. So now that we have ourselves a silver necklace and a silver bracelet... Ow. Bingo. Here. Hiding in the shadows, a statue watches over the room. A brief inspection reveals flecks of silver metal marring the statue's wrist and neck, possibly indicating a decoration to be used there. Yeah. Surprise, it's the same as before. Or... Thank you. Have a necklace. Have a bracelet. A secret passage. Let us explore. Wow, it's dark in here. Hey. I guess that guy's not flammable. Hey, what do you think I am, a Mantarok zombie? Hey. Nah, I'm fine. I don't need more sand. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh. You're you're gonna do that? Oh, alright. Bye. Oh, another one of you. <sighs> Again, I apologize for the noise, but I can't. No, no, no! Don't let him! Don't let him get me! Oh, help me! What? Why did I not target? Yeah. Shoot him in the back. Back of his head. Yeah. Through you guys. pick up? We picked up... We don't know. We picked up something. Alright. Just making sure that the codex entry for it is not here. I do not remember where the codex entries are. And you can definitely miss them. Which makes the rest of the game a little more annoying because then you're always like, what am I doing? What? what which rune is that again? Alright, now, normally I wouldn't be killing the zombies. I guess the Mantarok ones, it doesn't really matter, but... Ow! You know what? Alright, you got you got this covered. Alright. Statue. Um, but... Yeah. Ooh. There are so many traps. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god. You know what? Hi, zombie. Bye, zombie. <sighs> Finally, we got through one hallway. A statue of a car out of a statue of carved granite depicting a ceremonial temple guard. It appears to be keeping watch on the seated goddess in the corner of the room. Okay. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Oh, this is the one I think that poisoned you. There's a panel recessed slightly into the wall. It looks like it'd be pressed. 
one of these at least, like, if you do it wrong, you, you it starts, like, gassing on you. Huh. So I press the button. Step on switch. It turns to look at me. Let's me grab this. I forget what this was about. Maybe. Maybe I remember. Alright, let's just keep going for now. We'll figure it out later. Wait as many traps as we can. There appears to be a hole in the wall. It's large enough for a small dog to pass through. There's also a lot of magic in the way right here, so uh, we're not doing any of that right now. Ow. Okay. Uh, no, whatever that is, just hold on a minute. You're dead. Thank you. Small basin or font situated beneath the statue. Beside that, an orb-shaped button. Should I press the button? Um, sure. This water smells like a strong acid. Perhaps strong enough to dissolve metal or flesh if Lindsay isn't careful. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have anything for that yet. I do have this, though. Dispel magic. Green. One down. Uh, should I press the button again? No. I still don't remember what these do. I guess we're in it together. We're learning. Let's press a button and run. Oh, it might disable the traps. Temporarily. What? Okay, not that one. Uh, good talk, zombies. Good talk. Hiding in gold flecks of metal. Well, we got one of those. There you go. She's like, nah. Not good enough. Oh, there's the... I knew there was poison somewhere. Run, run. Now, you guys, I think, are made like mummies, so I should be able to... Ah, yeah. Eh, you can give me a little bit of that. Let's dispel. Uh, green beats blue. So what beats green? Red beats green. Bop. Hey. you off, I guess. Yeah, that's the problem with sanity zombies is, you know, they don't need limbs, because that's insane of them to not need limbs. So, of course, it makes perfect sense. I don't know. Press the button. Again. I don't know what it does. I don't know if I need to do it, but I'm doing it. Remember me, Alex. How can I forget you, Grandpa? always meant the most to me ever since ever since my parents died yes ever since they were killed you've been my little girl yes my little girl this is
isn't really happening. As I said, Edward, Edward Lindsay was pretty sane about Mo. This isn't really happening. He's not kind of freaking out the way other people do. Like, this isn't happening. Don't let him, don't let him get me. Oh, well, okay, and then there's that. So if that does reset the traps, which it did. Oh, you can't even cast magic in this this poison field. Well, that's annoying. It's almost like it's designed to kill people, regardless of their magical affinities. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Please, just no more poison. That's more poison. What did I just say? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Oh, that one actually got me. I'm kind of surprised. That's one of the ones I thought, like, because I, you know, I knew that that one existed, but, like, even when you know the things exist, they still catch you off guard. I was like, wait, what's going on with my computer? Yeah, again, like, when I've talked about at the beginning, how, you know, some of these will hit a little differently. It's, you know, you watching versus me playing and the, you know, like, technological ones. You know, that... That's sort of like what it looks like when an old-style TV goes off right now, boom, into the middle of the screen. So it's, uh, not quite the same, you know, watching this on YouTube on your phone as it is, you know, playing this on a monitor, which is not the same as playing it on a TV. I mean... Oh, I am about to die. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm about to. Yeah. Let's get out of this room for a second. Alright, now... Problem is, we need more magic, so we need to run around, but we can't really go anywhere, because... You know, poison traps. You poison? No, alright, well, at least I can run around like right here. Ah! Oh, well. To be or not to be. <laughs> that is the question. I don't know and that I've. It is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing <laughs> Die to sleep no more, and by a sleep to save the end. This can happen. Oh no! Except I never came out here in the first place. Uh, I do not know that I've ever seen that one. 22 years later, and I just saw a new sanity effect. Or at least, if I've seen it, I do not remember seeing it. Or maybe, like, I, you know, maybe my head came off, but I never actually picked the thing up back when I did it years ago, but... Huh. Well, that... I love it. The last poor Yorick. I knew him, Dr. Edwin Lindsay. That is one of the problems with playing low sanity so that you can see all the stuff. Is high. Hi. Is that now that we're running into things like guardians and horrors as just like regular enemies? Yeah, I run into stuff like this. But hey, hey, I'm still fine with it because I just saw what is either a new sanity effect for me that I've never seen in 22 years, or at least I don't remember seeing. Uh, one more of these. Uh, if I had an... <laughs> now, is your head still gone? That's what I want. Ow, ran into the dance. Oh, no. 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 Okay. 
Okay, do I think I have time to do this? Yes. Down it goes. All right, now you. Okay, yeah, his, his other head was still off. That's nice. I am using way more shotgun shells than I wish I was. I gotta save them. You know what? Ugh, I hate you. Okay, what's in here? Mm. Door in here. Dirt encrusted necklace. Panel, which I'll press because why not? Now this should be back at the start, I think. If I know my four-sided objects, which I think I do, but it is this game, so, you know. Sanity not guaranteed. Yeah, because there's, there's big ol' face. Stupid, stupid poison. Well, I, it, you know, at least I know I'm not insane and I was remembering poison. All right, there we go. Put that in there. Press our orb-like button. Smells like acid. Ah, nice and shiny. Say, and unlike Indiana Jones. Oh, what's it say about? Does it say anything interesting? Okay. No. Gold necklace with gems. Yes, we saw. Yes, unlike Indiana Jones, you're not saying, like, it belongs in a museum. You're like, no, it belongs on the statue here that had it. Oh, that hurt. There you go. Don't worry, lady. We'll protect you from the real monster, the British Museum. Feeling much healthier. Okay, I hear zombies. I have yet to see zombies. I don't really yet to see anything. Alright, we got a staircase. Sounds like a horror. We got some Zelotop zombies. Well, we can let them burn. Go back to the hell from once you came. Oh, hi. Controls were super messed up there, and I'm not sure if that was a sanity effect or if that's just an effect of being hit by the Zelotov zombie, or if that is like an effect of, like, not in the game, but the just the uh, emulation getting messed up. Either way, I do not like it. Okay. Aim. Red beats green. Red beats green. Let's give ourselves a real cool pistol. Oh, gotta wait. Turgo's like, I'm not coming out if you got another spell going. I'm the only ancient for you. Sure. I mean, technically, I could enchant it with green. And, you know, like any enchantment is gonna do more damage. Come on. Sit. Not sitting its ass down. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of ones that don't quite hit the same nowadays as they used to. But, you know, back when I played this game originally, that's what the volume on the con you know, the I was gonna say the controller, on like the remote on your TV. Like, that's what it looked like, that neon green volume bar. You didn't have volume sliders, you had things like that. Uh, it's still funny to see, though. Still funny to see. I remember what I was gonna say. I'm sure it was important and amazing, but, uh... 
Yeah, I'm out of ideas. So we'll just keep going. I see that. Can I get through this? Yes, I can. Squeeze in there, Dr. Edwin Lindsay. Hmm. Well, that's a creepy looking statue. Like, I don't even need to have low sanity in that scary. Good ambiance, good ambiance. Stop at the wabba wabba wabba. There we go. Ah. There we go. Much nicer now. We got ourselves a codex. It is for the rune we got. Aratok, creature. So, as I'm sure you can, oh yeah, this might look a little familiar. The eroded mural appears to depict the arrival of a strange godlike entity before an ancient human tribe. Lindsay cannot recognize the god in the mural. He is mystified. Actually, no, uh, Elia did not see this one. She only saw the, the two that had pious in it. So that's sort of a uh, Mantarok appearing before the people. Interesting that it almost sort of has a head, rather than being just a blob. Hmm. Okay, top up health. Keep it going. It is a dark AF. Equip a torch. Keep it going. Stop complaining, it's just a couple of- Oh, it triggered it, you're not fine anymore. Run, run, run. Ow. Ow, well... Okay, he got what was coming to him, but... Ow! Stupid zombie activating the traps. Ugh. Now I have no health. No sanity. There we go. Um, you. Oh good, they actually killed one though. Get some sanity back. Ow, but take a bass beating. Yet, again, just sort of seeing this room, you can understand why red is considered the heart. Imagine these are your everyday zombies that you're fighting the most, though. Ow. Well, that'd be stun locked by a... Ow. A dilapidated mural depicts the ancient Khmer people coexisting with some kind of fertility god. They offer sacrifice to the beast and in return are showered with benevolence, good crops, and hunting. So, you know, Mantarok shows up and is like, hi everybody, and they're like, well look, we'll feed you a couple people now and then if you give us, you know, harvest and bounty, and Mantarok's like, yeah, sure, sounds like a deal. What a good guy this Mantarok is. Ah! Even the other ancients in Chickawa. Oh, that's where Kalia fell down. Kalia, Alia. She has no K in her name. And here we go. There we go. There's our missing room that we have the codex for. Wobble, 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 please. Yeah, it's not going to that. <laughs> not even that one. That. 
is... Oh, no, that was tier. Never mind. Yeah, so we're just missing one. One little rune. So now this should be the one that Elia saw. The image engraving on the wall depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer people. To Lindsay's eyes, the demon looks exactly like Paul Augustine's undisguised self. Yep. Granted, you know, she was just like, huh, some weird skeletal, like, lich dude. All right, anyway, so we got that, that, what the? It exists! Two in one day! Now, yeah, obviously when we came through here, there was never shotgun ammo, or shotgun ammo, you know, the first time. And you're like, wow, that's a lot of ammunition. Of course, I'm sure we figured out by now. Can't be happening. That's a sanity effect. I don't think you understand how excited I am to see that. Because I have, for sure, I have never seen that sanity effect before. And, to, to the thing is, like, so like, you know, back in the days of, you know, the old, you know, old, I mean, still 2002, but, you know, old quote-unquote internet stuff, like, you know, the way you learned about, like, game secrets and stuff was either, you know, you talk to people, like your friends at school, or, you know, in some cases, you would have, uh, you know, like, um, like, game, you know, like, you could find, like, you know, the, the, like, game FAQ stuff. And I, for the longest time, I always saw that listed, is that there was a sanity effect where you'd walk into a room and there'd be a bunch of ammo on the floor. And I never saw it. And I thought it was a case of, you know, just like that old internet stuff of like, sometimes, you know, people would start a rumor and then everyone would just repeat it because, you know, it's like, well, this one guy said it. And so this other guy says it and then everyone else starts repeating it. And let me tell you, I have never seen it. And I've seen it's like, oh yeah, there's a sanity effect where you see a lot of ammo. But I have never seen it, and I thought it was made up, like, or, you know, it was, like, maybe, like, a, you know, like, in a test version or beta or something, and it got taken out. So the fact that I, 22 years later, have seen that, like, that's two, two in one thing, because I don't remember the head, that's it, I can't say for sure that I never saw that. Um, like, I didn't know about it, or, you know, if maybe I knew about it and forgot about it, so, like, there's that, like, for sure I knew that there was supposedly this ammunition one that I've never seen, and I kind of didn't believe it was real. So the fact that I've seen it now here, recorded, like, it exists, it really is here. Oh, that's... I'm very happy. Like, I know I'm sp supposed to be like, oh, creepy game, oh, I'm so scared and stuff, but y you don't understand how happy I am that after 22 years I found... You know, just like Paul Augustine is just like, after centuries of searching, we finally found it. The resting place of Mantarok. And, you know, for me, it's like, after years of searching, I finally found it. The sanity effect that they claimed was real that I didn't believe. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, anyways, yeah, I'm doing a lot of backtracking because, you know, we never did something. This owl way. Yeah, okay, that's the one I think I was remembering, where you can't lose your head. Anyway, though, the reason why we came back here in the first place. Uh, remember this? We dispelled this whole thing. There appears to be a hole in the wall that's large enough for a small dog to pass through. Well, we don't have a small dog in our inventory now, do we? However... What did we just pick up? We picked up, uh, this one. Summon. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Let's just pick summon and creature. Spell number six. And what that will allow us to do... is you get to summon a trapper to aid you. After a trapper's been summoned, uh, you can press it to trap an enemy when it's targeted. Um, so you, so yeah, trappers can't open doors, they can't pick up items, 
but you can blast an enemy to pull them into the trapper dimension just like we did. However, in this case, what you can do is, hello. We go and step on this. Which opens that. I'll do that while I'm here. Nah, it's too far away. That's okay. The one and only missable rune in the entire game. Because you go down, you have to first, you have to solve this puzzle of, you know, dis disabling the force field. Further in the level, you get the, the summon creature ability. You have to run all the way back up. And that gives you Secreted inside the alcove, a ruin awaits, its energy silently corroding the air about it. Hello. Uh, I guess I should have prepped for this, but I didn't. That's it, you're dead. Oh, um, yet, 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 yet. Okay, ceiling, stop dripping on me. I'm trying to be excited because we just got the Manta Rock rune. Now, yeah, sure, it's like, oh, what could it be? Yeah, we know what this rune is. We know what purple, we've seen it so much before. And when I'm done killing this dude, I will, and I, you're kind of stuck back there, so maybe I just shoot him first. Get over there. Yeah, you're dead over there. Oh, also while we're over here, we might as well uh, pick the codex for it up. So that it's not just the whole, like, what is this the whole time? The magical codex Mantarok. So yes, we now have the fourth alignment. We have all alignment. Yeah, and we, we, we saw a panel. Yeah, we already did stuff with it. We're fine. So that's a pretty cool secret. Like, I for sure did not get that my first playthrough because I didn't know that was a thing. Because, um, you know, I forgot, like, after we get the summon, when I just kept going forward, and then you get to the end, and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, what? Mantarok is a very interesting rune. All right, so yeah, the Mantarok rune is kind of weird. It's it's kind of game-breaking, but not quite. Um, because it's sort of, it has the power of all of the, the other alignments, and yet none of them. Um, I mean, because you think about, like, story-wise, you know, Mantrock is the jailer, you know, binder of these these three ancients, but is not involved in their little triangle of, you know, super effectiveness, if you want to call it that. So, Mantrock is strong against all of them, while not being super effective against any of them. And it kind of shows just, like, the way his rune works. Its rune works, I should say. Because it kind of is all of them, while sometimes is none of them. Um, you know, the easiest way to look at this is with... Uh, oh, in fact, I should bind it right now, now that I'm thinking about it. With Recover. Uh, do, 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 recover. Assign. Manta Rock. You know, who needs to recover sanity when you can recover... All of them. I mean, well, you, you don't recover magic with the Recover Magic spell, because, you know... That's just, it doesn't make sense. But you can recover health and sanity at the same time with Mantarok. So that's nice. Like, we never need to cast Recover Sanity again. If we're ever low enough on sanity where I'm like, oh, we need some more. You know, we might as well cast the Mantarok and get health with it too. Like, I guess unless we're full health, then we don't have to. Uh, the Enchant Weapon. Hello? I think that's just a sanity effect that I'm hearing a horror, but... Yeah, that's just that- okay. I, I just heard the horror going, blah, and I was like, wait, is there an enemy in here now? Or No, no, it's just just my sanity. Don't worry about it. Just Edwin going crazy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it's like things like... Where did it go? Bellis, there we go. Enchant item. Now, of course, you know, um, the way it's worked before, you know, if you where our main opponent is blue. So if we cast red on a, you know, our, our kukri here, 
it would do a little extra damage against blue enemies. Like, it, it's not effective, but I think it does. I might be misremembering this, you know. You can call me out in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think the way it works is that, you know, if you have, say, a red Kukri against a blue zombie, it still will do, like, a tiny bit more damage just because it's magically enchanted and a magic weapon is stronger than a regular weapon, even if it's of the subservient alignment. Just because, you know, magic. And then if you cast it as blue, it'd be a little bit stronger. You know, it's not strong or weak against it. It just, it's the same thing. So again, it's a little stronger because it's magic and it's not weak. And then of course, if you cast green, it'll be super effective and do lots more damage because green beats blue. Now purple, is that it doesn't beat blue. So it's not gonna do a bunch of extra damage. What purple will do, and this is true for like the, the damaging spell or like the damage field as well, is because Mantarok, of course, is also the corpse god. You know, when you hit someone with a purple weapon, rather than being either, you know, effective or not effective or anything like that, Mantarok will poison enemies. And it doesn't matter what type, because that's what I said, like, sure, he's not super effective, but he does sort of control all of them, hold dominion over all of them, in a sense. So... Purple might not do extra damage against anyone, but it will poison and do damage over time to all of them. So purple's kind of nice in that regard that you can just like set it on a weapon and then you'll know you'll have something that's useful. It might not be the strongest thing, but you know. So like, sure, if you're in a room with a horror, yeah, you probably want to use the strong element against the horror. But if you're just walking through a temple like this and you're like, oh, there could be, you know, who knows, like a blue zombie up here and then a green zombie next. And I want to test something. Yeah. You can also look at the magics. So like, that's how much doing healing cost. Like, it might be a little more. I don't actually honestly remember, and I can't tell completely from looking at this, but it's about the same. Like, casting the healing, you know, of just health is not that much more, if or less, if any, than casting healing and sanity. So. Uh, and I was talking about enchant item, right. So yeah, enchant item and like damage field on the ground and stuff. It's just it's just sort of an all-purpose useful no matter your situation type of thing. Hello, get out of here. In fact, I can show you right now. Sorry guys, I'm sorry, sorry, wait a minute, sorry, I know you wanna, you wanna fight and you're super excited, but I gotta show off spells. Here we go. Manta Rock. The Kukuri of Manta. So there. Now you can see it's got this purple glow on it, and it's just gonna take damage. You can see that that big one just kind of went bop and took a hit. So it's not gonna do as much damage as the green was doing. But we can hit him and just keep going. And like now, if this is like a red zombie, it'd still be just as effective over here as it was over there. And so, you know, it's cool. I like it. Now, what's even more interesting, though, is like I said, sometimes the spell encompasses everything, like recover, and sometimes it's, you know, I don't know, what you'd call this poison, like, kind of good against all of them, but not super good. So, you know, it, it encompasses what they all do. Sometimes, though, well, at least one spell in particular, which I also should cast, uh, or assign, because it's really good, Reveal Invisible. Now you might think, okay, well, what's that going to do? Does that just reveal everybody? It could have, but they didn't do that. So it's like, sure, if something is hidden with blue, you have to cast green to see it because, you know, green triumphs blue. If something hidden with red, you have, yeah. And so you could have made it so that purple reveals all of them, but that's not what they did. What they did, purple reveal invisible, <laughs> makes you invisible. Enemies will not see you so long as you are, like, when you're in this state. It is pretty great. So I'm a trapper. Hooray for us. And let's see what you say about this mural. Lindsay finds the mural frighteningly familiar. It's the scene he saw in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. The fertility god must be Mantarok, and this temple must be its tomb. And again, like, now that, you know, you know it's like, oh, yeah, Mantarok, and it's in purple because you know that Mantarok's alignment is purple. We even have the room to say so. 
I think, yep, so here's where Manta Rock should be, so we're, we're almost to the end of what we know. How you doing, buddy? It's, uh, getting a little overgrown in here, the, the, the floor's falling apart with his goop. Still, uh, still kicking, yeah. Kinda sitting here dying. Hey. I read about you. The power of Mantarok is not easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him! Make sure you succeed this time. Get lost, loser. Look, Pius, you might be working and have have been, you know, imbued with powers from an ancient. You might have bound Mantarok, but Mantarok is still like an eldritch god, and you are just a lich. Get the hell out of here. You you do not hold that much power. Like, sure, you can bind him. To, to die over centuries, but you don't have that much power here. Like, uh, hold hold that arrogance and check, young man. Oh, the statue's gone. The last time we came in here, Pius came and attacked Elia, and things went really poorly. So now that Pius is gone, what'll happen this time? the heart flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh, and take it to the Gathering of Light. the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. The veil of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness! <laughs> uh, and I didn't want to spoil it when the, the thing started. But also, welcome Dr. Edwin Lindsay, the very first chapter of someone who escaped at the end and did not die. Well, okay, I mean, to be fair, like, sure, Maximilian Royvis didn't die, he just went insane and was tossed into asylum to, like, rot. And... As we just learned, you know, uh, Elia didn't actually die at the end. Well, I mean, you know, she said she's dead. She became a, you know, a, a zombie, essentially. An, an undead body with the heart of Mantarok inside her. It, it, not a great fate, by any means of a, any stretch of the imagination. But no, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, our first person to actually get from the start to the end. And like, sure, maybe his psyche, you know, maybe he's going to have some nightmares after this, but... He didn't die. He wasn't, you know, imprisoned forever. He, you know, he didn't, like, melt away his flesh. He escaped. He escaped unharmed. So, like, hopefully we can do that as Alex now. We can, we can take, you know, what a great uplifting message and explore the house. Uh, before I do that, though, notice I'm missing one rune. 
we could, I think, make some more spells now because we have them all. And you're like, but you just said you're missing one. We are. It's a. a I know exactly what rune I'm missing and what it does. It's. It, I've said it, in fact, multiple times, and you've heard it multiple times. Anytime Pius has cast magic, for instance, um, you've heard, you know, like, Tear, Pargon, blah, 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 Pargon, and you keep hearing that over and over. Pargon, I think it means, like, power. It, it might mean, I don't remember exactly what the translation, you know, it's like, that's project, that's dispel. I think it's power, but essentially what it means is, like, very, and that's how you cast five and seven point spells. You don't use more, you don't do like project summon absorb type thing. Five and seven spells are the exact same spells you'll have with three. It's just that you'll you'll fill in the other slots with Pargon. So for instance, uh, enchant item. Not the, the, what would it, it's a, you know, Antrobok Magrimor. It would be, you know, like alignment, Pargon, Antrobok, Mag, or, you know, Pargon, Magrimor. So it'd be like, those two plus two Pargons equals a level five enchant item. But that means, because that's the only one we're missing, we have the components to make everything that is not a level five or level seven required spell. So let's get to combining. There we go. Summon an area. Level 11, or spell number 11. Uh, and we have summon creature, and summon self doesn't do anything. All right, so that's summon. So which ones do we have? We have enchant item, recover, reveal invisible, damage field, dispel magic, summon trapper, uh, spell seven. Which one is this again? I have to remember what I have. Oh, yeah, the... the... Okay, so that's the, like, the little orbs of light. I don't know why it's not actually working as Alex, but that's the orbs of light. Just because I moved? There we go. Um, so these are basically like little bubbles that protect you from, you know, like a red one will protect the health attack, green protects a sanity drain, purple protect everything. It will also poison the people that try to do stuff to you because as I said, magic rock and poison. Okay, so this one, so yeah, so if this is the, the protection orbs, this one we can't get yet because it's it only a level five spell. It does not work at level three or seven. And this one will be the level. I, okay, I'm not trying to like, oh, it's so secret. So basically, it's the upgraded version of Summon Trapper. Like level three, if you do Summon Creature, it summons a Trapper. If you do it as a level five spell, it summons a Zombie. And if you do it as a level seven spell, it summons a Horror to fight on your side. So that's cool. So we can't get these ones yet. Uh, this was the Magic Blast. Spell 11. I just made the thing and I already don't remember what it is. Uh, sure, let's do a purple. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is also really cool. This is a basically, it's like a recover over time thing that you, you see the, the rune above your head and it just fills stuff. Um... Again, this one also very useful to have as Mantarok because you put this above your head and it just fills up everything. It fills your health, it fills your sanity, and unlike Recover, it will also heal up your magic that it used to cast it. Now, like, if you cast this as a blue spell, uh, or yeah, this one, if you cast it as blue, it wouldn't, you know, it'd take, you know, like 50 magic or whatever, and then it would give you 50 back over time, so it's, like, not worth it. But when you've got red and green going at the same time, and it fills up the magic it took. It's super useful. We're going to bind that to uh, something. Uh, so recover top, invisible is bottom. There. Our D-pad is all of our Mantarok stuff. And then we got the, the Y button for just health, so if I can recover health but not get my sanity up, so we can, you know, keep being insane. And then if I need to cast, like, a specific green one, I can. Now, what, though? We still have... What am I missing? It's gonna be something with creatures. Uh, self-creature? No. Area creature? No. Item creature? No. Project creature. I think it might be... No. Creature... Spell absorbs some protect. There we go. 
which is going to do nothing for us right now because there's no creatures in here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, hey, we're not even that crazy anymore because I've got this, this rune on. Oh, well. We got enough sanity effects as Lindsay, you know, we're, we're doing good. But we know something now. The Demon in the Khmer by Dr. Edwin H. Lindsay. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelf. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value is hidden. You know exactly what it was. You saw it. With the book removed, a secret cache is revealed. Inside is the heart of Mantarok, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Should I claim it? Heck yeah. Look what we got. We got the heart of a dead god. Mantarok's heart pulses with unholy life. Although the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides within this artifact. So yeah, we have, we have Mantarok's power with us now. Not just the rune to cast his magic. We have Mantarok's essence with us. I'd say that's a big step up. And you can see maybe why uh, Pius wanted that. Right, uh, what am I actually doing now? Okay. I were a thing to do. Would it be the door over here now? Oh, no, it's the, the stained glass. Right, I was thinking uh, maybe it was this part, but I think it's this right now. Yes, because now that we have... Oh, the stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminate, blah, 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 blah. And right, because there's a, a blue field now, but because we were dispelling a whole bunch of different things, we have this. Yeah. We knew that. Fa but now, kind of weird that the page is floating there, but again, Eldritch Magic. As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind floating in midair. It appears to be a chapter page. Heresy. I am not your food today. I am your master. At least he's, you know. He, he, you know, he lost a point against Mantarok, so he's got to make it up somewhere. Like, I am still the boss, see? All right, well. I don't know why I'm running back. She's going to go there anyways when we read. Thank you for, you know, everybody who came by, joined me on the stream, said hello, all that stuff. Uh, thank you for everybody who watches us later on YouTube. Uh, special thanks today are going to go to... How about Edwin Lindsay? Yeah, you know, just another... Because, like, A, he got us the Manta Rock runes, so now we've got just all sorts of crazy powers we can do. And B, he, he, you know, he showed Alex that just because you're messed up in all this Ancients business doesn't mean you can't, like, escape and have a good ending. Now, to be fair, it was, like, what, one out of six so far, so the track record isn't great. But it's still there, even if it's just a little bit of a chance, so. Join me next time for a little bit of heresy. If I know my four-sided objects, which I think I do, but it is this game, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs>